Now today I'm going to focus on vending or rather vending machines. We all need to make caps in this game and let's face it the more caps you have the more things you can buy the more plans you can get etc etc. So caps are very very important when you start the game it's very difficult to get caps so this should sort of help new starters as well as veterans out there with a bit of luck. So what I'm going to do is cover it in my opinion the top five items to put in your vending machines okay these are all available in the world in the game world itself i'm going to cover other ways to make caps in subsequent videos but your vending machines are an excellent way of making money as for location for your camp if you want to concentrate on being a trader well i've been all over the place on this map and there are basically a couple of choice areas number one as you can see is being opposite a train station now, when I say opposite, I do literally mean opposite, as in like that, because if you're slightly up the road, out of the way, set back a little bit or something like that, people won't come to you. It's as simple as that. They've got to be right near to you for other players to see them, which is why this one's like this. This station, Torsten, is actually the worst one on the map I've, I've actually set a camp up at, so don't come to this one, guys. There's a reason this camp's here, and that will follow in, like I say, a subsequent video, and again, it's to do with caps. But if we just quickly pull the map up, the best spot on this map to make money is right here, opposite the White Springs train station. One of my accounts has, well, in fact, my highest level account, has my camp right there with the vending machine entrance facing the train station and I literally make thousands and thousands of caps every single time I go on in fact it's hard to keep vending stocked because I'm selling stuff so quickly so guys there's your choice area be warned though sometimes it's six or seven times before I can get my camp to go down reloading in and out not nice does take a while so just bear that one in mind but that's the choice place second to this place is here Morgantown station with Morgantown station you can actually build uh, sort of here just up the hill behind it uh, behind the back door people spawn in on the road here and as you walk towards the station entrance your camp is sort of right here as near as you can get it you can put your vending machines next to the wall and that is a very good place because a lot of new players that are doing the story will end up having to go to Morgantown Airport. So opposite this train station is definitely the second best place on the map. Places to avoid, well, pretty obvious if you're a long-term player, guys. <laughs> this area, bit of a no-go, to be honest with you. Um, I tried having a camp opposite the train station here, and it's more trouble than it's worth repairing it literally every two minutes. If you're one of these that likes to be out of the way and you've got your camp down here or the other end of the map, you're too far away players won't come to you okay so with that out of the way and oh look i'm too heavy typical i'm gonna have to quickly get a power armor guys so i can show you around the items that i think and where they are that you should be selling now where is my power armor there we go Got a few. always too heavy guys excavator power armor with calibrated legs yep that's the way to go well it is for me anyway Okay, so first things first, you could do with acquiring, and this is available from the vendors normally, okay, so you're going to have to search which vendor, because there's a lot of vendors knocking around, and believe it or not, it's the Vault 76 jumpsuit, yeah, the bog standard jumpsuit sells every single time I put one up for sale, 100 caps, that's what I put it up for, 100 caps, sell straight away. Obviously legendary weapons are number two on my list. The more of them you can get and sell, the better. But be very, very picky. Generally speaking, anti-armor and explosive rounds and blooded sell the best. The rest of them, not so well. Vampires do okay, but anything with bash damage is a no. No one ever buys those. And to be honest with you, junkies doesn't sell too well either, so bear that in mind. So, next up, where are we going to go? Well... We're going to go here. The things to sell. Okay. Let's skip this loading screen. Okay, now you will have needed to have done the um, necessary, like, hidden quests to get the keys to these domes. Okay, there are three in total. 
and you may have trouble getting the key to a certain one because one is glitched. I have video guides up on my channel showing how to get in these domes. But basically, the two on the left, there's like one here and then one further up, which I will show you, uh, have power armor paint schemes. The T51 Nuka Cola one, which is red, you've probably seen it uh, quite a few times in other videos. And the other one has the paint scheme for the X01 which is like a bluey purple colour. Both of those plans sell for around 500 caps each. In fact, I can never normally get enough of them. So yeah, that is a problem. So this is dome two I'm going to, to show you as an example. I'm going to go all the way over here, right to the back of the map quickly. In fact, I think I've just gone past it slightly. Now this one, um, This one has the Alien Blaster plan. Okay, so you are going to need these keys. Please check my channel. I will leave links to the other videos below. And down here, look. Alien Blaster Fusion Mag plan. So you can actually make these Alien Blaster rounds. The rounds themselves always, always sell. I can never make enough of them. The plan itself always sell. I sell the plan for 250, but to be honest with you, it would probably sell for 500 just like the other two. While you're here, treat yourself to some stuff with screws in it, because typewriters have two screws, fans have one, etc. And you've got some pretty expensive suits over here as well. So you can double light, double up on everything here. You can get your hazmat suits and everything else. Quite a few bits and bobs in here, look. So pick it all clean while you're here. So that's, that's one, okay? You alien blaster mag plan. You put that up for sale, read the first one yourself so you know it, and then uh, take it over. So the next place we're going to go is all the way down here. This is going to be a very expensive fast travel, guys. So we are going to go to... Okay, this account doesn't even have it unlocked. That's interesting. We need to go to Appalachia Antiques. Okay, now we can go from Fort Defiance, so we're just going to in fact, I can travel for free if I do this. Let's do that. Let's skip the loading. So guys, Appalachia Antiques is the next place. We're going down to Appalachia Antiques, which is not actually a lot on this character yet. Appalachia Antiques has a few different items that can spawn that are very valuable and actually pretty rare to be honest. They are on the rare items list. Be warned, this area probably not for the uh, newer players. It's quite difficult. You can get some high level creatures here to kill. So you're going to need your, some sort of weapon or another to, to kill them with. So there we go, dead ahead. Now it is a bit random what spawns here, but the stuff is well worth getting. It will sell again for 500 caps ago in your vending machine. I sell these all the time and generally can't get enough of them. The only problem is, yeah, there can sometimes also be a windingo here. So if you're low level, that type of creature is gonna cause you some trouble. The other thing is, you can use the staircase inside. If you've got marsupial, you can jump up on this roof, which is ideal. Okay, so let's go in. Oh, let's not go in. Let's kill these guys off. There's normally a few. So, what we're looking for... Loads of and it is actually... Oh, we have a winding go, guys. I can hear it. The item we're looking for is here. Brotherhood Fatigues. Yeah, Brotherhood Fatigues, guys. So if we have a quick look at those. Oh, not as the case may be, because we're about to get attacked. I'll have a quick look in a minute. And there's the winding goes. So I just need some ammo back. So, hi. See what I mean? Don't come here if you're a low level, guys. Oh, look. I'm completely out of everything. 25 bullets. Need a lead factory here. Okay. Now we can carry on uninterrupted. So, the Brotherhood Fatigues. That's what I was going to show you. These sell really, really, really quickly, guys. I mean, you, you could do a server hopping and getting a few of these. Uh, they are a nice thing to get. 
when it loads. There you go. They've got the motif look on the top right hand corner there of the pocket and it is a full suit so looks good when it's on get yourself one and then get one for selling. Now that puffet that they were on can actually spawn a Brotherhood lab coat as well. Now Brotherhood lab coat is also 500 worth so you know grab that if it's there and sometimes we'll head upstairs check the shelves as well guys because sometimes when we're in luck welding helmet welding helmet may not sound much and they are available a little bit better than the other stuff but again i sell it for 250 caps so you might as well pick it up aren't you let me get my uh, spikes back so when we go upstairs let's have a look what have we got upstairs well not looking too good this time but upstairs you can actually get a um Brotherhood of Steel goggles. It's like a goggles helmet thing, and it's sometimes here, sometimes not. Again, it's all random, so bear that one in mind. Your tape there to play, I won't play it because it might spoil it for you if you've not been to this location. So there can be three things here to get basically. Uh, we have actually got a mole miner going up there as well. Yeah, there we go. There's a lab coat. I was just about to say, check the dresser, and there it is. So this visit was really good because we've actually got more than one item. Let's have a look at the lab coat goes. Uh, lab coat, there we go. There we go, check that out. It's got the motif on it. As you can see, it's not the same as the Arcos lab coat. The Arcos lab coat is not as valuable. This is rarer, so you want to make sure you get that one. If you come here and you can't find the Brotherhood fatigues, then there is another place these can spawn. And basically, we're going to go all the way up here, Thunder Mountain power plant and once again we'll cut the loading now we're not here for the quest that's just kicked off or the event rather we're very low on ammo as you can see what you're going to do is run down here probably get attacked by everything and in the tent i doubt it will be there because like i say we have just we have just made something up and make sure your gun's loaded that always helps. And there we go, Brotherhood Fatigues and Field Scribe's Hat. So it is possible for them to spawn in two different places. So we're going to have that and we're going to have that again, 500 caps per item, guys. Sorry, I was going to show you the hat. It's an annoying dude. There we go. So where are we? Um, wow, we've got a lot of people here to steal stuff. Annoying. We're out of bullets, aren't we? There he is. Okay. So, the goggles. Let's go back to this. Where are they? Can't actually remember what they're called properly. There we go. Field Scribe's Hat. Again, this sells pretty good. Um, I believe I do sell this one at 250, so the rest of the stuff's 500. That particular one is 250. So there you go, guys. That's my top five plus a bonus one there, to be honest with you, of items I put in my vending machine that sell really, really well. That's besides the normal plans and everything else that you get. But concentrate on getting that stuff. Like I say, new, new starters, probably wouldn't go down there just yet for Appalachia Antiques. Uh, I started going down there around level 20, if I'm honest, before you could sort of handle it. Level 15 if you've got the Raider Power Armor, but again, you've got to get that first. So just be warned, but that is how you make some pretty quick, pretty easy caps. Make sure you position your camp in the right place is the moral of the story. Like I say, the current position of the camp on this video is not good. You don't sell much at all, but there's a reason it's there and that'll be in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you again next time on the next Fallout video. Goodbye for now.